everyone, it's Jessica here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you what I got from ASOS this week. I have been wanting to get some pencil skirts for the office because it's boiling in Madrid. When I live in summer, it's really, really hot and I just can't bear it. And I've been wearing pants to the office for most of the time but now I really needed to step up my game when it comes to pencil skirts and I found really good ones in ASOS that were I don't know if they were on sale or they were just very very affordable I will be telling you the prices and everything as I show you but I haven't in the package yet because I have been waiting to do it with you I got it three days ago I think and I've been dying to open this because, I don't know, there is something really, really exciting when it comes to online shopping. When you get the package, it feels like Christmas. And I haven't forgotten what I got because I, it's not like I'm buying things every single week. So I do know what I'm getting, but I just wanted to open it up with you so that you guys can see my first impression on the items and also get to see what the items look like on and the fit, the fabric, the everything, you know. So, without further rambling, let's get into this video. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And now, let's get started. So, I'm gonna open this now. I love the way they improved their packaging because I don't know if you remember, but this stick right here, it was so hard to open. Very annoying. And now it comes off really, really easily. So here I have the list of the items, perfect, and now let's get started with the first item, this is so exciting, <laughs> okay I got a white pencil skirt and I don't know, let's see, well it comes dirty just to start off, we don't start off very well. Do you see that? It's dirty right there. I was a little bit worried about this item because it's white and you know when you buy the white item you don't know if the linen is gonna be good enough so that it's not see-through but this one, I mean it doesn't have, oops, <laughs> it doesn't I mean, it's quite see-through. Can you tell here? I don't know if you can tell on the video, but I can see my hand through the fabric. So I'm not quite sure if this is gonna look nice on. I mean, I do have like this, um, like nude skirts that you wear underneath that I can wear with many items when they are, you know, when they are see-through. That's a way to solve it. You cannot even tell that I'm wearing anything underneath. But I'm just not happy with the fact that this is dirty already. As soon as I open it up, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't make me happy. And the fabric doesn't impress me that much, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be better, but let's see what this looks like on. So this one was 25.49 euros, and it was not on discount, it's the regular price. Everything is under 30 euros, except for a pair of shoes that I also got, and they are like, 37 euros something like that so everything that I got is very affordable but let's try it on and see what it looks like on so the white skirt I decided to pair it with this uh, blue blouse that I have from Storets as well and with a pink bag and beige um, pumps now regarding the skirt do I love it absolutely not I think the quality is um, very cheap uh, I think I the way I style it I make it look more expensive for sure because this blouse and the whole thing with the belt and everything makes it look more expensive with the heels and the back however I think um, the the split right here is just see-through I mean you can definitely see on this side that you know the fabric underneath so those kind of things I really hate when it comes to clothing like these little details here are the ones that can make an item look expensive or really really cheap so that's a no go for me that together with the fact that it came dirty already from the beginning 
I think I'm going to be sending this back for sure. But I will be on the hunt of another white skirt because I really love the idea of it and the way, you know, the way to the way it looks together with this blouse. I really really like the outfit overall, but the skirt itself I don't. So, I'm going to be sending it back. It's a disappointment. The next item it's another pencil skirt. This one is a navy pinstripe pencil skirt with the two buttons here. And it also has a split right here. And this one looks really nice. It looks like it's um, tight on the waist and it has this round shape here for the hips and I think it's going to look nice on. Um, it's very light, the fabric. It feels really, really light and soft. So maybe this could work. And because it's dark, I don't, I'm not worried about it being see-through or anything, obviously. So it looks quite nice. Let's see. Let's try it on. This one retailed for... Let me tell you... This one was 19.49 euros. And I think it can look really elegant. Even in winter, I think I could pull this off. Even though it's a light fabric with tights underneath and um, a nice sweater with bell sleeves or something like that, I think it can look really nice. Now I'll show you the pinstripe pencil skirt. I have to say, I said earlier that it was navy, I was wrong, <laughs> it's actually black, but I really really like it. It's really gorgeous, it's way too long for my height, as you can see, I would have to bring this up all this way, I know, shoulder problems, right? I have to do that because otherwise it's too long. Uh, but I, I love the fit of it, it's super flattering, very very comfortable and definitely very lightweight for summer. I really really like it. The only problem though is that it's very revealing, way too much in my opinion. As you can see here, you can see too much of my leg. If I let it open, I mean it would be too much. Like I have to be very very careful all the time with the movements that I do. So whether I decide to put, you know, to bring it together here, I don't know, make a point here or something when I bring it to the tailor or just send it back. What do you guys think? Should I keep it and fix that problem here or should I send it back? Let me know in the comments down below because other than that it's really really flattering, it's very feminine and I really like it. Next I got another pencil skirt. This one is Kind of like a blush, mauvey, pinkish color. I wouldn't know how to describe this color. But it looks like this. Can you tell the detail on the waist? It comes, it's black. It's like a black ribbon with a bow on each side. And then it has ruffles on the waist here as well. And it's quite like, I think, tied to the legs up to here where it, ha it comes with a split. And this, I mean, the shape of it, it's like the kind of skirt that Jessica Pearson from the Serious Suits would wear. I mean, I would die for her wardrobe. Like, seriously, I want everything in her closet. But yeah, it, look, it reminded me of her a lot, and that's totally my style. So yeah, I hope this one is gonna fit, because I love the color, and I love the detail, and everything it looks different to any other regular pencil skirt. So I'm very, very excited about this one. I hope it's gonna fit. Fingers crossed. This one retailed for 10.49 euros. I mean, that's a steal. I mean, it's not even like a big risk when it comes to buying this skirt just without knowing if it's gonna fit or not because for 10 euros, I might as well take the risk, right? So this is how I styled the pink pencil skirt. I'm wearing, um, well, this is what it looks like on first so that you can see. It fits like a glove. I love it. I absolutely love this skirt. I don't have to do anything to it. Not to the length. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. I really really like it. With the split it doesn't look like super long so I think it's perfect for my height and I can still show a little bit of my leg so I think that's perfect. And the material is quite thick so I mean not thick that it's too hot or anything but it's just uh, thick enough so that it's not see-through or you don't see unflowering parts of the body. I think it's perfect and I'm complementing it with um, this Kami from Massimo Dutti. 
I think it's really beautiful and the texture, the fabric of, of um, the kami, it's really really good. And yeah, it's white and we, since I have this black ribbon right here with the bows, I thought complementing it with a bag, a black bag, it would be perfect. So that, you know, I don't like to do like too matchy matchy looks, so I think this is perfect to break down um, the rest of the item. And I decided to wear these um, purple sandals. It's like a dark purple color. They are so comfortable. I really, really love them. I got them on sale in in Zara as well. But um, I don't know if you're going to find them online anymore because I think they were sold out last time I checked from my last video where they, I featured them as well. But I linked uh, several different options that are really, really similar. I'm going to put them down, down below as well for you to check. But what do you think about this skirt? Do you like it? Do I look a tiny bit like Jessica Pearson, maybe? <laughs> In my dreams, I know. But still, I love it. Next is another pencil skirt. This one is a linen pencil skirt. It's black. So because of the fabric, it's very lightweight. A little bit see-through as well, but... I mean, you don't see it here, but this is a type of skirt that you walk out the door and the day is super sunny and bright and everyone can see all your underwear. So I have to be very careful with what I wear with this, but I think, again, I would wear something like these short skirts that you can wear underneath uh, with a black or nude. I think those are stable on my wardrobe just to help me to wear these kind of items that are a little bit on the risky side when it comes to them being see-through. So I think... That's um, what I'm going to be wearing it with, to be sure. No one is going to see my underwear in the office. And yeah, it has also a split at the front, right in the middle. And it has like pockets on the top here. I don't know if you can see it, right there. And yeah, just a basic, but I really, really like it. I think for summer, this is going to be great. If it fits, it's going to be great. This one costs... 7 euros 49 I mean just such a bargain really and uh, the material feels really good the fabric sorry it feels really really good so yeah I'm positive about this one let's see what it looks like on this is how I style the pencil skirt the black one the linen one with the t-shirt and as you can see the it has the split on the front and I really love this skirt. It feels super lightweight, super fresh. I feel like I'm not wearing anything at all. It's really really comfortable. Uh, there is only this thing right here that bothers me a little bit, but because I'm very petite, <laughs> I'm very short, I need to get the skirt hemmed anyway here, like a few centimeters up, because I think I would like it more like this. I mean it's okay to have a midi skirt. But I'm very short, so I need to be very careful with the proportions because otherwise it would make me even more tiny. So I think like this it would be perfect to just enough to elongate my my figure, you know, to make me look a little bit taller. But this I need to fix because it comes with a little bit of a, I don't know what this is, but it shouldn't be there. So since I'm going to have to take it to the tailor anyway, I am going to ask him to just do this as well. And I love the rest. I love then I got a basic white bodysuit because, like I said, it's super hot right now in Madrid. And even though, if you have seen my previous videos, you see that the clothes that I'm wearing don't really reflect that kind of weather. That is so overwhelmingly hot. But uh, the truth is that in an office, you, the temperature is pretty much the same every all year round because with the air conditioning and the heating, usually you're good to go with... I mean, I need something like a cardigan or something or a blazer to cover my arms because it gets a little bit chilly with air conditioning. And in winter, it's just we have the heating on, but it's nice to have your arms covered because, yeah, it, otherwise it would be a little bit colder. Or that's my feeling anyway. But I, I wanted to get something like this to wear underneath my blazer so that when I go out, I'm not dying out of heat because it's super, super hot. And this one was 12 euros. Yeah, 12.49 euros. So this is how I have styled the shoes and the tank top. As you can see, I decided to go for a bomber jacket, more kind of like a sporty look. And I'm obsessed with this 
bomber jacket, even though it's not part of the haul, it's from Massimo Dutti and it's on sale at the moment in different colors, go check it out if you like it. Uh, it's like a dressy bomber jacket, but it, give it, it gives the look a, kind of like a sporty vibe. And I love the way it goes with the tank top. And this is what the tank top looks like on without the jacket. What do you guys think about this bodysuit? I love the way it fits. It's a little bit tight, but I like it like that. It uh, gives it that sporty vibe, like I said. I really like it. It's very comfortable, very wearable. I think you can wear it with pencil skirts, with uh, suit pants, and I mean many different options. And then I got a basic t-shirt with a print on it that says female forever. I kind of like the idea of going for more of an agey twist sometimes and putting this inside a pencil skirt because like I said my work environment is not that conservative and I don't have to wear like very like suits every single day or anything like that. It's not very corporate in that aspect. I have a lot of flexibility so I love the idea of wearing this for those days that I feel like wearing something more casual and this with a pencil skirt I'm just gonna love it. I know that already. And I love the sleeves. They are a little bit shorter here and they are folded up. I love that. And I, and I think monochromatic looks with this type of style where you put something very casual with a pencil skirt. The fact that they are monochromatic, like I would wear this with a black pencil skirt. I think it makes it a lot cooler. I don't know. I think it looks more professional in a way, if possible. <laughs> Uh, more than mixing up a lot of different colors, I think at least I feel more safe on that side if I wear the same the same tones. I love this t-shirt here. As you can see, it says "Female Forever," and I knew I was gonna love the the sleeves. This look is a keeper. I love everything about it, the feet, everything. What do you guys think? Do you like it? It's a keeper. Should I send it back? What's your opinion? With this bag as well because I think it works just perfectly and yeah, definitely a keeper. And last but not least, it's the pair of shoes I was talking about. Now, let's see if they don't disappoint because I'm really excited about these ones. <laughs> Alright, so these are the... These are the pair of shoes. As you can see, they come with two stripes here and they are pretty high. I mean, they look a lot higher than they did on the website somehow. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna fit. We will see. I hope they're gonna be comfortable enough to wear in the office. They are patent, not leather for sure. They cost 37 euros. Something like that, thirty six ninety nine. So yeah, thirty seven euros, and they just look so cool. Like seriously, when you put them on, I just hope they're gonna fit. But the way they looked on the model, a million different outfit ideas came through my mind with these shoes. So yeah, fingers crossed that they're gonna fit, and I don't have to send them back. Um, as you can see, this is um, how I decided to style the shoes. Uh, I went for these black pants which are super flattering, they are from Sara, they are very like the basic, uh, from their basic collection, they have them the whole year round and I just folded up the, um, the bottom here to give it like a, I don't know, just to show off the shoe a little bit better and I love the way it looks. Regarding the shoes though, I have to say they are super super uncomfortable I cannot even walk in them like they are just the most uncomfortable shoes ever I just put them on and my feet are already in so much pain I guess it's because I have a big arch already and it doesn't fill it in the shoe this area right here is just not filling it in and the straps are not um, supporting my my foot too much it's just my I, I don't know I have the feeling that my feet wants to go forward like this it's very uncomfortable and but there I mean I just love their design like it's just so so cool I really really like it and it gives such a different vibe to to the whole look 
but I think these are gonna be going back because I cannot stand them anymore so gotta go get change <laughs> so if you guys know any other brand or design that um, looks like this for the shoes let me know put it in the comments down below because I would really like to get some that look the same but that are more comfortable because this it's unbearable just let me know because I would really like to have it I want to show you another item that I didn't get from ASOS but I just got it this week as well so I'm gonna take the chance and show it to you here and it is this skirt it is from Storens I don't know if you know this online brand but I love this, this store every single thing that is in this store I absolutely love I have a few things from them already I love it I mean this skirt it's white and it has this ribbon here it's in navy and red I hope the camera is catching up the color properly and uh, with gold buttons and this is giving me some Gucci vibes I don't know what you think but I don't know why I thought I would I would wear this a lot with summer outfits but the fabric it's quite thick so immediately after I open it um, I'm kind of thinking of wearing it more in autumn because it's quite thick even though it's a it's curved and I could wear it now but it's quite thick like I would be very warm if I wear this and it is amazing quality I have to tell you because it's not see-through at all and yeah like I said it's really thick so it falls it's pretty I mean it's just this I have tried already on because like I said I also received it this week but yeah I had to try it on <laughs> And I really really like it, but I'm thinking of wearing this after I touched it and I could feel the fabric. I am thinking of wearing this with a nice turtleneck sweater or or this type of sweaters with bell sleeves or ruffles, something like that. And then ankle booties, I think that would be amazing. That's a look that I have on my head. The way it looks in my head, it looks really nice. But yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like on, but I think all my winter clothes are store at the moment I don't even want to see them <laughs> with this heat <laughs> but I think um, yeah I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on with whatever I have here but I think I'm gonna be styling a lot more in October it will be appearing it will be featured in one of my future videos for sure so this is what the skirt looks like on uh, I love it like I told you already uh, it's super flattering I think it's just perfect I love it and the, the fabric is a little bit thicker like I said so you cannot see my underwear or anything like that and uh, the way I, I style it is with these new pumps I just realized that I don't have the right items to style it with at home I would need to go and find something uh, but I don't know if it's because the fabric makes me think of autumn now and I just kind of have these all the other outfits in my head uh, you know with the way I want to style it so I didn't find anything that I really really love but I put a navy, a navy blouse with this because this is all navy and I think it works perfectly and the rest I, I kept it neutral and I like the result what do you guys think anyways even if uh, these are not the best items to combine it I still love the skirt it's definitely a keeper and I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear out of this this autumn I'm sure so that's it for today guys I hope you really like this video let me know in the comments below which of these items do you like best and if you think that I should send something back because it doesn't fit me so well I want your honest opinion is very much appreciated let me know if you like this type of unboxing videos so that I keep doing them more often and I wish you all an amazing start of the week and like always I hope to see you on my next one mm -hmm.